Now, sa pag-perform ng addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication sa ating previous lesson, ay napakadali nung ating kailangan tandaan na rule. Kailangan lang parehas yung order ng matrix A at matrix B para makombine natin siya through addition and subtraction. Now, by multiplication, magkakaroon tayo ng panibagong rule. At ito yung rule na kailangan yung tandaan na medyo complicated at medyo mahaba kumpara sa addition and subtraction. Now, dito sa aking Unang mga examples, meron akong apat na matrices na may iba't ibang orders. So, yung matrix A, I have 2 by 2, I have 2 by 3, a 3 by 2, and another 2 by 2 matrix. Now, mapapansin nyo na iba-iba yung orders ng matrices except for A and D. Now, for my example number 1, I'm going to multiply matrix A and matrix B. At mapapansin nyo na ang matrix A at matrix B ay magkaiba ng order. So, kung addition and subtraction yung operation para sa A and B, hindi pwedeng mag-combine ang A and B using those operations. Pero sa multiplication, meron tayong panibagong rule. Ang una natin gagawin is observahan yung ating orders ng bawat matrix. So, for matrix A, meron tayong 2 by 2 matrix, at for matrix B, meron tayong 2 by 3. Now, ito yung unang step sa pag-multiply ng mga matrices. Kailangan nyo muna tingnan yung number na nandun sa gitna ng inyong mga orders. Kung parehas sila, kung itong 2 na to ay kaparehas doon sa inner entry ng ating matrix or dimension ng matrix natin, which is 2, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang i-combine. So, tandaan nyo, pwede kayong mag-multiply ng mga matrices na magkakaiba ng order kapag ka pinagdikit nyo sila at yung dalawang number dun sa ating inner um, parentheses ay magkapareho. Now, ang product nitong dalawang matrices na to kapag ka kinombine natin siya through multiplication will be a 2 by 3 matrix. So, tandaan nyo na yung nasa loob na number ang mag-verify kung pwede natin i-combine yung ating matrices by multiplication at yung outer value naman natin ang magbibigay sa atin ng product o yung dimension ng product ng ating dalawang matrices. Now, paano ba mag-multiply ng matrices? So, ang unang step, we have matrix A times matrix B since alam natin or na-verify natin na pwede siyang makombine, ang unang step niyan is magbibilang kayo ng column ng inyong second matrix. So, ito yung ating first matrix, matrix A. Yung second matrix is matrix B. At yung matrix B natin is merong tatlong columns. Na itong tatlong columns na to ay mahalaga kasi ibig sabihin, kukopyahin natin itong matrix A o yung ating first matrix ng tatlong beses. So, once again, Yung number of columns ng ating second matrix will tell you how many times you need to copy the first matrix para mag-multiply ng matrix A and matrix B. So since meron tayong tatlong columns, kukopyahin ko si matrix A ng tatlong beses. I have 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1 on my second step. Now mapapansin nyo may mga numbers akong minultiply sa loob. At ito yung pangalawang step na kailangan yung tandaan. Yung ating, sec yung ating first column na 4 and 3 will be multiplied sa ating first copy ng ating matrix. So, itong 4 and 3 na yan, 4 and 3, will be multiplied ng pahalang dito sa ating first copy. So, yung 4 will be multiplied here at yung 4 will be multiplied on our second row. At yung ating 3 will be multiplied to our um, value here dun sa ating second column at saka dun sa ating 1 dito sa baba. So, ganito yung itsura niya. So, yung 4 and 3, 4 and 3, 4 and 3, 4 and 3. So, yun yung una o yung second step after nyo makopya yung ating first matrix ng tatlong beses. Now, bakit nyo kinopya siya ng tatlong beses? Kasi, uulitin nyo siya para sa second column at sa third column. So, yung second copy ng inyong matrix na 2, 1, 3, 1, imamultiply nyo naman si 1, 1. So, 1 times 1, tapos yung 1 and 1 dito sa pangalawa. Tapos yung ating huling copy ng ating 2, 1, 3, 1, Imumultiply naman natin yung last column na 0 and 2 pahalang dito sa ating last copy. So we have 2 times 0 plus 1 times 2, 3 times 0 plus 1 times 2. So yan yung ating procedure ng pag-multiply ng matrix. Medyo komplikado siya pero tandaan nyo lang na unang-una, bilangin nyo yung number of columns ng second matrix, kopyahin nyo siya 
ng tatlong beses, yung first column will be multiplied ng pahalang, second column, pahalang ulit, at yung third column, pahalang ulit. At ikukumbine nyo siya ng addition. So, since na-set up na natin yung ating second step, isimplify na natin ngayon yung ating bawat entry ng ating matrices o ng matrix para makuha natin yung product ng A times B. So, we have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 1 times 3, which is 3, meron tayong 3 times 4, which is 12, plus 3, at ito yung ating first column. At yung second column naman natin, na meron dalawang rows, will be 2 plus 1 and 3 plus 1. At yung ating third copy, which is our third column ng ating product ng A times B will be 0 plus 2 and 0 plus 2. Now, to further simplify yung ating third um, matrix here, makukuha na natin yung product ng A and B. So, we'll have A plus 3, which is 11, 2 plus 1, which is 3, 0 plus 2, which is 2, and 12 plus 3, which is 15, 3 plus 1, which is 4, and 0 plus 2, which is 2. At ang product ng ating A times B na alam natin na ay 2 by 3 matrix, ay eh, totoo dun sa ating procedure. We have another 2 by 3 matrix as our product in our solution. So, yan yung mga steps ng pag-multiply ng matrices. Now, practice lang yung kailangan para makuha nyo yung process or yung uh, syntax nung pag-multiply nitong dalawang matrices na to. Now, let's have another example. Yung example number 2, mula dun sa mga matrices na binigay ko kanina, kapag minultiply natin si B times A, which is given by a 2 by 3 matrix, and matrix A, which is given by a 2 by 2 matrix, kapag ka binarify nyo kung pwede natin siyang i-multiply, mapapansin nyo na yung ating inner number ay magkaiba. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng i-combine through multiplication. So, yung product ng B times A ay null. Ibig sabihin, hindi posible i-multiply si B and si A kasi hindi siya na-validate dito sa ating unang observation. So, yung number 2, is equal to null. Now, so number 3 naman, which is C times D, mula dun sa ating mga matrices sa ating first slide or first board, we have 1, 3, 2, 4, 0, and 1, which is a 3 by 2 matrix, times 4, 0, negative 3, and 5, which is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, yung ating first verification, since yung ating inner value ay magkaparehas, pwede natin i-combine si C and D. Now, para malaman natin kung ano yung order ng ating product, yung ating outer number ang magdedictate ng order ng ating product, which is a 3 by 2 matrix. Now, tulad ng procedure natin, bilangin nyo kung ilang number of columns yung second matrix, at yun yung bilang ng kopya na gagawin nyo para dito sa ating first matrix, which is our matrix C. So, since matrix D has two columns, we'll copy matrix C twice. At yung ating 4, negative 3 will be multiplied dun sa ating first copy. At yung ating 0, 5 will be multiplied dun sa ating second copy. At tulad nung ginawa natin sa example number 1, simplify nyo lang yung bawat entry ng ating matrix. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So we'll have 4 minus 9, 8 minus 12, 0 minus 3, para dun sa ating first column, dun sa ating answer. At yung sa second column naman, simplify nyo yung inyong mga entry dun sa mga matrix nyo, and you'll have 0 plus 15, 0 plus 20, 0 plus 5, which when you simplify, will give you a 3 by 2 matrix with entries negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, and 15, 20, and 5. And that's how you multiply matrices with different orders.